So I'd like to tell you that um, some of the traditions which I or techniques which I showed to you were, were originated by an incredibly interesting person and a very famous Russian healer whose name was Parfiri Ivanov. And I'd like you to see his picture. You could also find articles about him on the internet. As a visionary, Porfiry Ivanov's life was not easy. His lifestyle was definitely unusual. And he lived the same time during uh, the last century. So, but unlike Buteyko, he was an uneducated man and um, he did physical labor and didn't really even read books much and so on. And at some point he became very ill. And um, even though he was, he didn't have any education, his analytical abilities were incredible. So just like Dr. Buteyko, he started thinking, why am I ill? Why so many people around are ill? And he came to a conclusion that he was mostly, he was ill, or people are often ill, because they separate themselves from the environment. They believe that the environment could only cause them problems and trouble. And Parfiri Ivanov decided to open up to the environment. So he lived in Russia in a rather cold area, and he basically stopped wearing any clothes except some shorts and, uh, shorts, and that was it. He also started um, being in contact with water, especially with cold water every day. Every day he would get up early in the morning, step outside being barefoot, standing on the ground, and he would bring, a, he actually would go for a swim if there is, a, if a natural reservoir of water was available. But if not, he would bring a bucket of cold water outside with him and pour it on his um, uh, head. And by doing so, he became very, very healthy. And eventually, he became a very famous healer. And uh, by practicing, by teaching people how to practice this technique, he was able to help many people. So when I lived in Moscow, I spent time interviewing some of his students, and those were adults and children and elderly people. And every day they would, uh, and they would start every day by connecting with the environment, by connecting with the ground, the fresh air and water. And many of those people were severely ill when they started applying this method and they became very healthy just by keeping their connection with the environment, with the natural elements open. During um, the Second World War, when the area where Porfiry Ivanov lived was occupied by fascists, he was captured. And um, fascists were totally fascinated with this strange man. And they decided to conduct various experiments with him. They would surround him by ice. They would keep him for a very long time under water. And they tried all kinds of um, techniques, means to see what would happen with his body. And he survived all of this. And his health was not damaged. There are a lot of uh, <laughs> stories, you know, it's difficult to believe stories for, which come actually from all over the world about Parfiri appearing to people, helping them with various things and so on. It's not relevant right now but Parfiri's abilities to heal people were definitely 
fantastic. And it's all started with his statement that um, a human being just a cell in the universe. He, he called us human being children of the universe. And he was saying that we are just the cells in, uh, in this huge space. And every cell has a responsibility to be healthy. And one of the easiest and the most powerful ways to stay healthy is by befriend, befriending the elements.